generating 3D models from image. In this video, we're going to compare free version versus pay. Does it worth it to pay money? How much is worth it? Which one is better model? And we compare all of them, see how they work. So we're going to compare by utilizing Comfy UI on our machine, and we're going to use it Hunai 2.1. We also covered previous version 2.0, but it is quite a bit different. One of the biggest difference between Hunai 2.1 and versus Hunai 2.0, it is support for PBR materials. However, with Comfy UI installations, what we're going to use it, it does not build in of support texture generation. If you want to create texture, you will need to go directly to the website and have it additional installations. We will have a video about this, how to do, but keep in mind that if you want to render PBR texture, which is more superior to original single layer, then you will require a video card from about 20 gigabyte and more of the VRAM. So not every video card can handle. Also version 2.1 of the Hunai, it is utilized better mesh, it's worked better with memory, overall it's significant improvement, even it's only dot one upgrade, but it, if you notice, model created more accuracy and distribution of polygon is much better. So this is what we're going to use it with Comfy UI. You can just loaded this workflow directly when you go to templates and you'll see right here Hunai 3D 2.1. So this is what we're going to use. Just in case, if you wonder, I'm using currently the Comfy UI 0.3.68 and it's come with this. When first time you load it, you probably won't have this model in loaded, which is okay because Comfy UI now will pop up message and says downloaded this version 2.1 on your computer is all what you needed. Well, beside you obviously will need it some additional um, models language, but those most likely you already have it. And to compare this to the per to the pay versions, we're going to work a little bit with a meshy, see how the mesh will perform. And of course, we're going to check with the uh, Hydams 3D. I will tell you up front the Hydams 3D it's much better quality. I think this is a top tier so we will be using to compare to this and we'll see how they also meshy support and why maybe you want to use it meshy as well. We won't check any workflows that utilizing 3D API and can connect to different applications like Tripo, Haperia, this is a little bit different and they in most cases perform same as a meshy about the same level of the delivering the quality and resolution of the 3d models if for some reason your computer cannot run hunai 3d 2.1 on your own computer or version 2 i will provide link down below to this website or you can also just go and can search we can go online and for free try it for yourself this is the early version 2 one which is support you can see different size of the images you can also play with additional settings here but it's have it limited on what you can render and also limited on resolution and how many you can render as well. As we perform tests, I will be testing on the different images. The simple, like right here, you can see this is a very simple Totoro image. This is most likely already pre-trained model and it's important when it's recognized. Next, what I'm going to do is testing on other images like here me making face. The reason, you can see it's not isolated background and most important my image my face very unlikely <laughs> train inside the 3d model for recognition so we'll see how close the model can create base it to my face as well we'll perform something more funny comical like this image it's when you create it and want to do so we'll see how that perform notice this is a health body and i done this on purpose because i want to see how the ai will translate this type of images with creating so let's go ahead and start first 
with our server running on local machine. This is run on my local ComfyUI. I'm working on the RTX 3090 with 24 gigabyte VRAM. Here is a very simple image of Totter and my settings is all default. I did not increase any resolution or mesh. So this is out of the <laughs> box, how we can say. And you can see right here, it did render. However, it did add the platform to the bottom. I ran several times and one out of four times platform was in render, but most time it did render platform. However, you notice it's some settings. You can have it to remove background as well. Okay, let's go now to our meshy and right here you can see with meshy render this is actually our model it's definitely higher resolution because if we compare our uh, what we're creating to let's go right here and this is our mesh lab with preloading from comfy ui you can see you can definitely see the resolution by the way if we check on how it's creating polygons it's very mathematical distribution of polygon it's not necessarily optimized at all, but it is not bad mesh at all. All what we need to do with this, just run through the mesh optimizations and it's kind of scratch. I, what I was saying by it's a mathematical because some areas we don't need this high resolution, but if we look right here, you can see it's very evenly distributed. Normally, when you have it mesh optimizations in an area where you don't need details, they will stretch in an area where you need details, they will add a little bit more mesh. And you can see this definitely when we're using high item pro version modeling. If you're not sure about this, check my video where I went over the testing on those meshes. So in there you can see density of the mesh in a higher details area. So it's still be not bad and it still process uh, produce quite a bit nice the model and keep in mind this is totally free. Well with maybe exceptions you need pay electricity and on your video card. So let's go back here to our mesh and you can see it's performed actually very well. It does not have the back view. This is with this image. So whatever we rotate and we can look, it did actually create a very nice tail. So it, did, it is a recognized model. However, if we look on top, it's add something weird stuff to the back. And it, so this is back. It's what AI will generate. But general, it's not bad. Except that our hand, we have it six fingers kind of. So yeah, and some have, it's have this creative approach but generally, if we go from front, it's did not bad. And we definitely can see on the polygons, even from here, it's quite a bit smoothness and mesh work very well. So when you work with comp with a high item 3D, you actually have it a quite bit resolution you can choose from. So I render on most of them included the highest 3D Pro, so we can compare. On the low resolution, I'll tell you up front, if you're using portraits, not always exactly the same, but the pro versions worse in, work incredible. Beside that, it's have a special mode of portraits, which I'll show you in a second what is meaning, but right here is different resolutions. So let's check what we have it. And you'll notice also, even if we just look here, you already can see the different in, uh, resolution. So this is our lowest resolution, if I'm right. Well, actually it's not even low, it's one, two, four. But we can see definitely the polygons right here and also as well the distribution. So it is done not bad. Let's look on the back. It did not add tail. It still have it six fingers, same like this. But it's very nice, accurate. I do like how it's created on top. Some different. Okay. If we look on high resolution, this is not just increased high resolution. It's also have a better processing. And you can see this definitely add a little bit more details here. Now fingers is more accurate. It's four as well. It's add tails and it's look much cleaner and smoother overall. So I think this model is definitely way better working compared to other ones. And this is our pro version, the highest version you can have it on high item. So this is definitely better. Um, does it worth on this first test? I think not. I think um, if you do some very low resolution like this models or very familiar, you can actually take this model and run through like a mesh application or you can run through a blender 
clean up, smooth, or if you have it like ZBrush or other things. So this is not bad. It's mm -hmm. like piece of clay first, and after you can add utilization, you can all this. So the generic models, maybe like when you create chair or table or a fence or something, you know, some very uh, generic items, they will work just fine. So let's go see how this perform when we start testing against the um, different models. And for this first, I will use this image with me, eh, doing like that. And you'll notice the background is removed. So let's go ahead. We'll go click run for this. As it render, let me show very fast. You can see it is processing quite a bit fast, which is very nice for the creating this model. Okay, and as a result, it did render, but even the background is transparent or removed because it's PNG with transparent. It did add stuff on a back. If we come closer, we see we definitely suffering problem with the resolution as well. Look on the hands, the fingers is all broken. It's a problem with the resolution. And also the face is not defined because how I said before, it is does not work necessarily very well with um object that cannot recognize. So let's see how they perform, for example, with meshy. And here is image. One thing what I need point to meshy when I try this, it did add a feed. It's actually not bad, but remember, this is a health body, the image. So it's add all this bottom. Same with face. I can say it is generic. It's not necessarily my face. The hands, it's actually performed not bad at all, except we had quite a bit right here. Uh, fingers look like it was like a wood chopper put it or somewhere. So the fingers look ugly. But in general, it's okay, kind of. I will say it's not real acceptable uh, even for 3D printing, but kind of okay if we create in this case. So let's go ahead and check with the high item. And here's the high item generator. You can see the face way closer. It's almost same. And <laughs> to be Fair, I was actually even more mean to high item because I was using not extracted background, which is much harder to do it, but it is created. And if we turn around, it's perform actually not bad. Look on the wrinkles created on the back. This is invisible side, so it did not bad. Add some effect. Let's go right here. See where the ears. So it's not bad. The one thing is my complaining is these fingers. If you look, I have like two thumbs here one and two so that is need to be fixed however you can run free retry and on my second retry i can show in a second it's kind of fixed those fingers but general you can look it's not bad the face and everything look on the neck right here detailizations is done very very good job and also it did a health body exactly the same as the image was provided Okay, let's go with our next step, which will be a little bit harder right here. And this is with a background. Let's see if this model can work very well. Um, anytime when you work with a background, you can always um, enhance your workflow. And it's probably what I will do in this case. Well, if I work with this, it is extract object from the background because you can add additional node very easy inside the Comfy UI. And it's a beauty of Comfy UI of customization precisely what you needed because you can even render item and fit it in or remove background or do other things complex. This is a beauty of Comfy UI. Besides, it's look totally run local on your computer without connecting to any other services except at the beginning when you need preloaded the model. So, okay, done creating vertex to mesh, and you can see. This is totally chalked. So the our hand is floating, uh, floating hand right here is because cannot recognize. Well, it's kind of like this. I think can recognize. I think around there. So we lost this one. Kind of okay. The face expressions actually somewhat close. Not bad. Again, it's quite a bit low resolution. Overall, I found the local free one work very good if you do simple things like a chair, table barrel something that there maybe a lamp maybe some other elements and it's very good because if you're developing like video games you're developing uh, simple assets that will work very well with a low resolution so you can create as you need it however 
for a little bit more complex it's still not yet there and it's because how much a memory it's taken what resources it's required how say even with this 2.1 with textures you're hitting 20 to 26 gigabyte vram required at least okay let's go ahead and check what we have it on a mesh and again it's a add it decide to add half of the kind of weird feet add to me even they're not there for the health body face kind of try to have an expression but it's totally not the face what's supposed to and it's what i found many times with many services because how they pre-trained they for some reason they're just using generic faces or try to create so at least the hands is good except we have it like six or what is five six six fingers here yeah about so it's a little bit too many fingers but as uh, general the muscles kind of look fun it's uh, not really ready i i will tell you with mesh i probably won't even directly 3d printing it's still not yet their quality as well so let's check what is um high items will do and you can see i have it at different resolutions as well running from this so we'll go with the first the low resolution it is a 512 the lowest you can have it but even on this lowest resolution, it's already better. The fingers obviously kind of messing. Well, we still have it the all fingers. One, two, three. I don't know, it's five or whatever, six almost. But fingers a little bit better here. Facial expression closer to mine. And this is the lowest, lowest resolution you can have it. So it's performing very well. Again, give me a health body. It's the same what I ask. And did a not bad job on this. So let's go jump to a little bit higher resolution now. And you definitely can see different. You can see those wrinkles try to create, maybe overdone, I will say, in some cases. The short, the facial expression is kind of okay, hands. So I won't be, this is same, it's still, sorry, not yet ready for 3D printing, but it's better. Usually those ones a little bit hard to create on the hands. And if we're going to another resolution, and this one is just step up from the lowest lowest resolutions so it's a little bit better we have the better fingers again one two three four five six oh i don't know why yeah i want to have it six fingers maybe it's what they see our humans in future mutations but it is much better quality and better resolution even on this almost the lowest level so i kind of impress i still thinking i uh, think in my that higher i'm 3d steel um Top of the hill right now king of the hill still there with a quality of producing um, 3d models and um, our local model is performed not bad as long you know what you need to do in our next videos we i'm going to work more with the texture we'll install and try with pbr but let me know what do you think what is your example do you agree with my test or not or should i run differently well, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.